In this video, we want you to learn how to dial in or calibrate espresso at home as quickly as possible. But rather than giving you a step-by-step -step guide, we decided to create a challenge. So we asked our friend Alan, who is a professional barista for over a decade, to dial in three unknown coffees on the espresso machine and the grinder he has never worked before. We'll be using Victoria Arduino Eagle One Prima espresso machine. We asked him to share his thought process about changing parameters to dial in the coffee as quickly as possible. Are you ready for the challenge? If you stick to the end of this video, we have a surprise for you. So let's get into it. Right, so coffee number one. Coffee number one? Okay. Thanks, Alex. Yerno cafe. Brasil Fazenda Paraíso. And it's uh, natural. Yellow bourbon, roasted May 2nd. That's 18 days. That's gonna be okay. Three, four weeks. That's what I prefer for espresso. So. All coffee in, we need the hopper full, so it pushes the grinds on top of the burrs, and we get more consistent grinding. And this looks pretty like the Mythos adjustment. So let's try. Clean the portafilter. Okay, what's gonna be the dose? I don't know. Let's uh, check it out. So first of all, let's uh, open the portafilter. So what does it say? Usually you can find the, the size of the basket uh, on the side of it. Zero, three, zero, zero, uh-uh. Okay, this to me looks like a 14 to 15 grams. It's not a 17 gram, it will be deeper. So let's try 14 grams, maybe 15, we'll see. Grind setting is set somewhere, I don't know where. Let's see, the timer is on. Yeah, 15 grams. A little bit of distribution, vertical tap. Clean the spouts. All right, 15 grams in, and I'm looking for, let's try 30 grams, one to two. Lower, lower altitude, natural processed, Brazilian coffee, tons of sweetness, I imagine. Let's see what we can get out of it. 95 degrees centigrade on the coffee machine. I like higher temperature. You can extract more in less time. All right, 32 seconds, 17 grams in a cup. That means 34 grams yield and a 15 grams dose. Okay, it has good sweetness, a little bit astringent, a little bit of dryness in the finish. What can we do? So, we can improve pack prep. I never saw it, I think. No visible clumps, good dose, flatly tamped, and uh, no channels. It's a nice pack. So, what can we do? Uh, as I did already during the extraction, I saw it's gonna be long, so I uh, went coarser a little bit. Let's try that. My trusty cup for purging the grinder, very important. Otherwise, we're gonna be chasing our tails and sticking with the same grind size the whole time. <clears throat> Purge about 15 to 20 grams. That should be fine with this grinder. All right, we're sticking to 15. We don't want to manipulate the dose. We just want shorter extraction time. So let's do the same. 15 grams in, 36 out. We did an adjustment, a little bit coarser. We pushed like 15 to 20 grams. That should be all right. Then distribution, but we ended up with the same time, 31 seconds. What's going on? A, we didn't purge enough. I don't think so. B, the pack was choked or channeled. And it looks like that. The left cup is uh, noticeably darker, heavier crema, much darker, and this is already looks weaker. So taste-wise, 
it's pleasant, it's nice. The finish is uh, disappearing quickly though. This is noticeably weaker. It's an okay espresso, but there is a huge difference here. So let's do that again and uh, hopefully with a better result. It's still the same time, but I shortened the ratio, so now it's 15 grams in a cup, 15.5. Perfect. Let's stay here. Good texture, lots of texture, it's layered, gentle acidity, not very high, a lot of sweetness, some dark chocolate bitterness. We got rid of the dryness, that's, that's nice, it's not harsh anymore. I would serve that, I love that. Before we move to the next coffee, let's clean the hopper. All right, Ethiopia Kochere by the barn. So we're gonna pull a longer shot a little bit. Longer contact time, longer espresso, just a bit. So one to 2.5 ratio maybe. Let's stick to the 15 grams in. Maybe looking for 34 out 35. Something like that. The grinder is clean and purged. All in, just like in poker. Purge a little bit. So we need half a gram on top of that. I adjusted the timer already. Twenty-seven seconds, nineteen grams shot, thirty-eight in total. So fifteen in, thirty-eight out. A bit longer, just like I want it to be, and the time looks good. Anything between twenty-five to thirty-two is very use drinkable to me. It smells floral and sweet. Very delicate and delicate and delicate. <laughs> Higher acidity, tons of florals. Kind of very light body, but that's something that goes hand to hand with Ethiopian coffees. Not much of a texture, relatively clean, lasting. Am I missing something here? It could be better. Let's pull a shorter shot, just a little bit, in the same time. So we're gonna go finer a little bit and maintain the recipe, the in, the dose. And we're gonna pull not 36, but 34 grams, maybe, 35. Let's see what happens. But overall, this was interesting. Same grind setting as for the natural Brazil. And this is washed Ethiopia and kind of worked. The espresso is already pretty nice. I would serve that with a smile, but let's do better. So a little bit finer to two and uh, something like 30 grams out for purging. What a waste! 15 grams, adjust the timer. We went a little bit finer, we purged the grinder, we need to adjust the timer just so we can get 15 grams again and the workflow is more smooth. Okay, a little bit more. It's too fine, we need to go back. Oh, I didn't taste it. I don't want to, but let's do that anyway. It's gonna be sharp, aggressive, tight. You got that, right? A shorter time, that's what we need to do. Let's go back, mid-step, all right. 30 grams out. Relatively slow, 34 seconds, one to two ratio. So we kind of ended up where I want it to be. Let's see how it tastes. Better, 
tons of texture. I can almost eat it or chew it. More texture, more body. Acidity seems to me to be the same or less, so it's more balanced. First we were like here with the acidity and now we're adding texture and sweetness and it's kind of balancing everything out really good, really good. Worth it. Let's move to coffee number three. I'm familiar with that one. Colombia Nemesio Borda. It's a washed coffee with extended fermentation. Okay, let's open the bag. I already had that coffee on a cupping table and then on, on espresso, but completely different setup. So the flavor of espresso is mostly determined by the grinder, right? By the quality of the burrs, how it's built. In the end of the day, the espresso machine is just a pump that runs water at uh, high pressure. So let's see what this setup does to this coffee. Bird. I'm sticking to the same dose. It makes sense. The basket is built like that. Uh, it's a good starting point. Just lack the dose and play with all the variables around. Fifteen grams in, thirty-two grams out in twenty-one, twenty-two seconds. Probably too quick, but let's taste that. It's clean, little bit astringent finish, not necessarily in a bad way. Just some dark chocolate, cacao nibs flavor. This is challenging. It's good at a first shot. That rarely happens, but it did. Can we do something to improve this at a coffee shop? I would serve this at home. Home is my playground, so let's, uh, let's have a playground here. We can pull out more sweetness. A little bit finer, more sweetness out. Same outcome, same yield, and let's see what happens. So I'm aiming for 26, 25, 27 seconds maybe. That's four to five seconds, uh, seconds difference. That should do something. A little bit finer, eight, these numbers doesn't mean anything, but in the context of this grinder and setting, it's, it's my reference point. 15 grams, a bit finer. Five seconds, that's four seconds, that's cool. 35 grams out total. The aroma in the first one was a little bit more intense. This is uh, softer. More balance. It's round. It's round. This is good. That is a well-balanced shot. I like that. A bit more on the acidic side, just a bit. But it's interesting. A finish clean, a bit of tea-like note, intense. Maybe we can pull one to two grams out more and it will be rounder and cleaner. But this is well balanced, I like that. I would drink that at home. I would serve that in the coffee shop. So the guys uh, prepared the challenge for me and my thought process was really simple. Just find the dose find the right dose, lock the dose, and move from there. Left to right, finer, coarser, up and down, in terms of temperature, and find the tasty shot in a narrow window of time. I think uh, we dialed in all the coffees at third attempt, at most, which is good. I don't like wasting coffee, coffee is too precious, so I'm not chasing God shot here. You shouldn't be either. I hope that you enjoyed this video with Alan. Let us know what you've learned. And now I have a big news to share. He's joining our video team. So besides amazing coffee meme channel, 50% Arabica on Instagram, you will see him much more often on this YouTube channel. So don't forget to subscribe and let us know in the comments what topics we should cover in the future videos. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.